Hello and welcome to another Cycle FTFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3Chilis, the experienced technology experts. In this video, we're going to be continuing the process of building our email campaign, focusing specifically on email personalization. When you look at the results of various polls and surveys carried out in recent years, many would have you believe that huge numbers of marketing professionals send personalized email campaigns to their clients on a regular basis. Well, that might be the case, but I'd hazard a guess that in an email context, most people think of the word personalization as putting the recipient's name at the top of the email or in the subject line. Well, let me tell you, that's not really what I think of when I hear the words email personalization. To me, adding someone's name to an email is no more than adding a couple of tags or what we call tokens here in Sitecore. And whilst that's a good thing to do and it does make the email feel more personable, it's a lot more powerful if you can combine that with the delivery of truly targeted, personalized content. And that's exactly what we can do with personalization in Sitecore. So consider this example. Let's say this is our email template and we're going to send this particular email to a big list of prospects here at 3Chilis. Well, here at 3Chilis, we actually offer a number of different Sitecore services. And unless we use personalization, it can be quite difficult for us to offer the right services to the right prospect at the right time because each prospect is at a different stage in the buying journey. So say for instance a prospect has been into our website and visited a bunch of pages which paint the picture of an existing Sitecore user. Well, we don't want to waste our time sending them a migrate to Sitecore message because they're already on Sitecore. It would be far more beneficial to tell them about our Sitecore audit service where we offer to give their system a health check to get rid of any pesky bugs that seem to be causing a problem behind the scenes. Equally, if we get the impression that the prospect is completely new to the idea of Sitecore, we might use the same space in the email template to get them involved in a free Sitecore demo. So it's one email template, but you're pulling in different content depending on which prospect you're sending that email to. Okay, so to personalize a component in an email campaign, you need to open the email campaign that you want to personalize, click the message tab, and then click the message body. In the dialog box that opens, click the component that you want to personalize. And in the floating toolbar that appears, it's this button here that you need to click to personalize the component. When you click into that button, you can go about personalizing your email. It's as simple as that. Now, I'm not actually going to cover how to use this personalization tool in detail because I've already done that in another video. I'll drop the link to that video in the description section below. But for now, it's worth knowing that personalization is the same whether you're personalizing your website or whether you're personalizing your email. Now, earlier I mentioned the word token, and you can use tokens to make the emails feel a little bit more personable. Okay, so what tokens can be used in EXM? Well, by default, you can use email, full name, name, or phone. And if you'd like to use other information from your contact as a token in EXM, your Sitecore developer can add them for you. To insert a token into the subject field or alternative text field, Open the relevant email campaign and click the message tab. We're already there. In the subject field or in the alternate text field, place the cursor where you want to insert the token. Click the actions button, which is this one here, and then click insert token. In the insert token dialog, click the relevant token to insert it into the relevant field. And we're gonna add some extra text in here too. By the way, if you happen to know the name of the token, you can just type the token directly in without using any of these quick links. And remember to save your changes. If you want to insert a token into the message body, on the message tab, click the message body to open the message in editing mode. Click the field where you want to insert a token. If it's a rich text field, you can also insert a token into a rich text editor. Click the relevant field and in the floating menu that appears, click edit the text, which is this icon here. Again, if you know the name of the token, you can type it in directly or in the rich text editor, place the cursor where you want to insert a token, click insert field and in the drop down menu, Click the token that you want to insert, then click accept. Okay, now let's preview these tokens for a specific recipient in our contact list. On the message tab in the details section, click actions and then click preview for recipient. In the preview the email campaign dialog box, click the recipient that you want to preview the message for and click OK. We'll choose my name. As you can see, the message tab now displays the message with the appropriate contact values instead of the tokens. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Now you're ready to go ahead and start adding personalized messaging to your emails. This video was brought to you by 3Chilis, the experienced technology experts. For more free cycle training videos, head over to 3chilis.co.uk forward slash training. Or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.